my mic on? Can everyone hear me? Am I live? <laughs> Are we actually live today for once? <laughs> Yo, what's up everyone? Hold up, hold up. Let me make sure everything's all set up. <laughs> oh man, I had everything already. And then I turn on my, I'm accidentally unplugged something. But, yo, anyways, yo, what is up, everybody? How's it going? We are back for, we're live after, like, what, three months? <laughs> Last time I was live was um, January. Like, beginning of January was my last live stream. I think it was this. Was I talking about spring shows? I think I did something. I think I, think I was doing a manga reading, but... Yo, anyways, yo, hey, hello, people, Siku Senpai here, and yeah, we're gonna go through the whole list of anime airing this season, uh, going through every trailer because I haven't checked out anything. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me just make sure I have everything. Everything's looking good. Um, just want to double check, but yeah, I'm excited to see what shows are airing for next season. I know that this season is not over yet, considering, you know delays many delays with other shows some shows are i think some shows end next week and then i know that because of the because of some of the, the delayed shows they're going to be ending within the next you know two or three weeks maybe i know that some shows also got delayed to restart for spring i think it's kubo san's restarting for spring and then there's something else going that moved to the summer i think it was um the demon slayer not demon slayer demon king <laughs> mr demon king academy so um yeah unfortunately that one's not up no more so okay yo, anyways yo, let's get so okay everything looked good <laughs> i did a test stream earlier just to double check everything so yeah i think it's, everything should be fine <laughs> i hope i hope everything comes out well um yeah i never i've never streamed in this angle either so hey hey, hey. um excuse me i usually also stream usually later in the day so um, it's new right now. Streaming earlier in the day. Got the earlier crowd into the evening. So, yeah. Anyways, so let's get this rolling. Um, it'd be nice if y'all could see what I was looking at. Um, <laughs> man, I'm so mad. I had everything all set up. Um, twenty live chart. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, that. Exit that bring me there awesome 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 okay there we go so yeah anyways yo the spring 2023 anime season um okay we got some sequels over here there's kenosaba um some more sequels um yeah this is beginning in um spring is are they restarting it i think they're restarting it from episode one onward um i could actually watch it now <laughs> catch up to it um okay with some isekais got some other sequels a bunch of other stuff okay Anyways, yo, let's get this started up, man, with Demon Slayer. Okay, so this is Demon Slayer, uh, Kimisa Yaba, Swordsmith, Village Arc. So first episode's gonna be a one hour special. Um, I forget when season two of Demon Slayer aired. I think it was two years ago, right? 2021? Um, I don't think it was last year. Was it last year? Hold up. Hold up, actually. Was it last year? I know that I'll probably end up watching this on my own. Um, oh yeah, also. Um, for those who are watching this, um, whether you're watching this live or later on, I actually might do some live stream, anime live streams next season, spring season. So that might be something I do soon. Um, I might do like on a, on a designated day, just watch a bunch of shows. I just want to, you know, just binge watch or whatnot. So, um, it was last year. Wow. A year later, they're back. Dang, UFO table at work. Okay, <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, let's check out this trailer because I haven't seen it yet. Um, let me also make sure all my audio is good. Hold up, <laughs> all my settings are just jacked up, man. So mad. Everything was so good. Um, oh my audio is also delayed. Hold up, my mic's. De there we go. I forget everything was delayed from when I do React videos. Okay. Okay, I think everything's in sync now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, Y'all could hear everything there. Okay, awesome. That should be good. And yeah, which trailer is it? Because I haven't seen the trailer for this yet. Um, I assume it, I assume it's the first preview. So switch over to my anime viewing screen <laughs> to avoid some copyright strikes and stuff. You know, 
I ain't messing with YouTube, man. Can y'all see it still? Okay, y'all could still see it. Let me, let me brighten it up for y'all. So I don't have to change it again later. Um, could put that up to 12. That should be good. My volume on? That should be. My headphones aren't even connected. They are. What? Oh, no, it is coming from my headphones. My volumes are so low. <laughs> okay, let me full screen. <laughs> let, <me full, laughs> let me full screen this for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Okay. So the concentration. Yo, Demon Slayer got the nice moments though, man. They always know how to make like a fight scenes just I know it's hype. <laughs> yeah, this ain't no dream. Um oh yeah, that's from okay, previous arcs. Mm-hmm. Oh, R.I.P. the dude Rengoku, man. He was the homie. They had me a little salty, not gonna lie. <laughs> In the theater. <laughs> Number one spot. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, District Arc. Yeah, that's last season. Mm-hmm. I for real thought that ninja dude was about to die during this arc too. <laughs> but I do Tanjiro held his own. He he did his thing this season, last season. Nezuko had her scene. Everyone had their chances to shine. Man, I see for this also just always nice. Okay, and what's the swordsmith arc going to be about? I know that the pink-haired demon slayer lady is in this arc. I know there's that um, hot spring scene. I, <laughs> I know everyone was talking about that online. Oh, it's the actual swordsmiths. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I don't know why I couldn't connect those dots. Dang, y'all can't see garbage. Hold up, let me fix that for y'all. Okay, now, okay. Now I know that's too dark. Wait, let me just put it on. Well, it's actually my screen's full black right now, so that actually makes sense. <laughs> okay, next mission. Okay, we got this dude now. Oh yeah, we got her too. Okay, see them in action. I'm curious what kind of abilities they got or. Not abilities, but what sword style they use. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's that. That is that, man. I'm looking forward to this, no doubt about it. I probably might will end up watching this one on my own. Or maybe my live stream. This might be one I live stream. I'll see. I don't. I don't think I want to do it on YouTube. I know. I remember checking out Demon Slayer season one on YouTube. Um, I actually, I think my first few episodes are on YouTube still. Uh, my first couple of React episodes, but yeah, I haven't checked it out on YouTube since. I mean, I watched it on my own. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see. I'll see. I might live stream this one. This might be one of those series I'd rather just live react to and whatnot. So. Um, okay, you know, Attack and Titan, final chapters, that was like, what, 27 days ago? <laughs> um, okay, Villain Saga Season 2, that's still going. This is actually on Patreon, Patreon series. Um, Konosuba, an explosion in another world. Okay, so this one I actually know has to do with Megu Mean, right? That's her name? Um, yeah, Megu Mean and her origin story before they she met with the crew and whatnot, so... That's actually cool. I know it's based off of the light novel, the spin-off light novel, a spin-off of Kenosuba, which this is a spin-off anime spinning off of that, and it's an adaptation of that spin-off. So, 
Um, that, <laughs> a lot of spinoffs right there. But yo, let's check out this preview. Because I actually am not... I feel like I've really done a good job. I haven't, like, seen any previews for anything. <laughs> I just... I was like, yo, let me not watch anything. Let me wait until I do this live stream for it. So... Oh, God, call it. Okay, yeah, first page on, on your journey, on your story. Hmm. Okay, Union. You can see the, the old squad right there, Megumin's old squad. Dodonka. <laughs> The goofy names, man. Goofy ah names. <laughs> okay. Okay. The greatest explosion magician. Okay. Oh, so true to be you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh man. Some things just never change. And I like that. Excuse me. But yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I might watch this one on my own. I know it's by Drive Studio. Um I know season one and two of Kenosubo was by what JC staff if I'm not mistaken. And then the movie was by um a different studio studio no studio dean my mistake <laughs> oh yeah was yeah the original was by studio dean season two was also by studio dean right yeah and then the movie um that one was by jc staff right yeah the movie was by jc staff okay my mistake and now is season three gonna be by jc staff too then season three is by drive okay just like the spinoff okay that's cool Okay, I'm curious how a drive is going to do with this. I don't know if it's going to be like the same director. I guess I could check this out while I'm here. I mean, I'm going through the whole thing. Why not? <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, they did Princess Connect. Oh, okay. Okay, they did the movie. Okay, so the same director of the movie and the show. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, I like that. I like that consistency. <laughs> um I like people. I like it when we have not, not only consistent voice acting cast, but this consistent director, especially if they did a good job with the previous season, um, you know, directing wise. I don't know how it's going to be animation quality wise, but I feel, I feel like all of Konosuba has been pretty consistent all seasons, you know. But yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this out April 5th. Um, that's what day? That's what? Wednesday? No, that's that's si that's Sunday. <laughs> Next Sunday. Okay. Okay, Dr. Stone New World, um, continuation of Dr. Stone Season 2. You know, Season 2 ended with that war ending. Um, That's a nice arc. That's a nice arc. Um, I might, this might be another series on my stream. I, you know, I'm kind of in the streaming mood. <laughs> I don't know, me not streaming for like three months has me like, dang, I want to stream everything now. So, um, if I don't stream this one, then I might, I'm, I'll see. I'll see how it does. I know that Shonen isn't like... A popular genre I want to say on my channel you know um, I mean personally speaking I'm not too big into shonen as much as other people I mean I like to tune into some shows but um, I see with Dr. Stone you know I know I did check this one out in season one on the channel that was that was a while ago that was what 2017 or right? 2018 like <laughs> okay so with the stone war over and the former members of Tsukasa's empire, the might of might, join forces with the kingdom of science to build a ship capable of sailing across open ocean to seek answers on the, on the mystery of the global petrification. River, before they can begin their voyage, Senku and his friends, not Siku, his name Senku, and his friends need to find some key resources and push some new scientific advancements to build the types of vessels they need. April 5th is Wednesday. It is Wednesday. What calendar am I looking at? Oh! Yeah, wait. What calendar was I looking at? Oh, I was, I'm looking at March still. So. <laughs> Yo, thanks for, thanks for the correction. Also, what's up, Super Boy Hype 1002? <laughs> How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for that. Um, I knew something was off there, right there. I was like, wait a second. Was it really that? Yeah, okay. I was looking at March still. Okay. <laughs> okay, this one comes out April 6th. That is Thursday. 
<laughs> not not Saturday now. We're not we're not on March calendar no more. So yeah, let's check out the um, preview for this one. Um, I actually really am looking forward to Doctor Stone. I actually need to watch the OVA for that first. Um, I know they had like a little OVA what in August I think of last year. So I haven't checked that out yet. So maybe I might I might react to that one you know soon. And check this out. So sleep for now. Mm-hmm. Hey, gotta believe in the future gen, right? Hmm. Ah, I'm so hyped. <laughs> Platinum. Ooh, I don't know what band this is, but yo, and I'm gonna like this song. They sound familiar though. Good, and we got this pirate dude, the captain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they have like some safe or something out there that you're gonna get. Find the truth behind the petrification in the end, so. Mm -hmm. Treasure Island. Oh, actually, okay, I can't remember seeing this. Mm -mm. Yo, who is out there? Unless there's a traitor amongst the group. Yeah, they show someone else out there, so I think. I don't know. Whatever the case is, yo, it's about to go down for next season. I'm excited. Really excited, man. I like Dr. Stone. Underrated show right there, man. I don't know. Something about it. I, I don't know why I like it so much. <laughs> Science. Maybe that's what it is. Science. Okay. Toki Nakawa, um, Over the Moon for You, Season 2. Um, Season 1 aired... 2020? Was it? <laughs> Am I right? 2021? <laughs> I know it's been a few years. Um... Damn, I'm going through the archives for this. Didn't they have so many OVAs too? Yeah, it was. Okay, fall 2020. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, so yeah, it's been three years since season one aired for this one. I This was really good. I really like this one. It's a cute rom-com. And yeah, it's a return for season two, both the same studio, seven arcs. The sweet story of NASA. Oh yeah, I forget this dude's name is NASA. Or NASA? NASA. Yeah, NASA. NASA and Tsukasa continues after, after surviving some awkward first nights together dealing with doubters and recovering from their apartment fire it's clear the fate of these lovers was was written in the stars now they're ready to settle back into a domestic bliss and finally begin their wedding so oh yeah they actually never did have a wedding okay so that's okay that's something to look forward to this arc but with plenty of new friends on the way, what will their big day look like? Okay, so we're going to get some more interesting characters. Some entertaining characters, too, we could say. Um, okay, let's check out the preview for this. Man, there's so many, like, good shows coming back next season. I'm so excited. I haven't even gotten to the new shows yet. I'm so... I'm, I got a grin the whole time. <laughs> um, where are we at? Where are we at? Um, English. Okay, that's the announcement one. I've been doing I've been doing that a lot this whole stream. I apologize, everyone. Let me let me stop that. <laughs> um, main pre preview. Um, they don't have a main preview in English. They got every other language, but they got the announcement preview. Is that the same one? Okay, whatever. We'll just go through with this with this preview, man. <laughs> I think we, we I think we get the gist maybe without getting without the translation. Unless... No, okay. Oh, he's talking about the wedding, I'm assuming? That's what he mentioned? Yep. Okay, yeah, okay. Nice to have everyone return. Okay, some new characters. I don't think we met the mechanic lady before. Maybe I just don't remember. But these look like, okay, look like some new characters, I'm assuming. Okay, this older lady, too. <laughs> yep. 
yo, I remember season one opening for this had that rave star. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Looks like they got the same one for this season too. Okay. It looks cute as heck, man. <laughs> okay. April 7th. That is Friday? <laughs> right, if the 5th is Wednesday, then... Okay, that's Friday. <laughs> oh, man, got me guessing days on the calendar. Okay, so this is coming out next Friday. Um, a weekend or eight days from today. And... Yeah, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I, I'll see if I react to this one. Um, I'm re-watching it on my own. If not, I might review it. That's the type of shot review. <laughs> um, I might, I'll, I'll see what I do. I'll see, I'll see. But I am looking forward to checking it out regardless. Um, seeing what's going to happen with this couple. Kubo-san is returning um, after, you know, the delays with winter season. I hope that for spring season, and I know it's probably going to be the case that we're going to have some other shows go through delays. Um, fingers crossed, knock on wood, that doesn't happen. <laughs> but considering how many shows were delayed last season, the chances of that happening for spring, I don't think it'll be that bad. I think there might be one show, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully there's none. Hopefully I'm completely wrong with that. But um, I guess we'll see what happens for spring season. Um, okay, new show. Here we go. I got a cheat skill. Oh, let me move this up so y'all could kind of well you, you yeah you kind of read it whatever i'll read it for you um i got a cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too it's on a, a light novel coming out april 3rd that is sunday right this is sunday no that's monday dang okay it's coming out <clears throat> that's coming out on monday it's by Mila Pensi. i never know that was a studio um each episode streams three days early in Japan on FOD or FOD. I don't know what FOD is or FOD, but you can watch it three days earlier right there. A chance to come back. A mysterious door stands open, inviting a boy who's been brutally bullied all his life to take a courageous step forward into the unknown. On the other side, he finds a horde of priceless artifacts and a world fi as filled with magic as it is with monsters. The, the most shocking revelation, however, is that he can bring whatever he wants back with him when he returns to Earth. Oh, okay. So he could go back. Okay. Um, I doubt we'll see that in the end of the season, but it looks like he can down the line. It won't be long before this double life changes him forever. Or the most shocking... Oh, so he could transport back and forth. I guess we'll see when we check out the preview, but... Okay, so we got our first isekai for the season. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay, let's check out this preview. Let's see how it is. Our first fan... Oh, wrong screen. That was awkward. <laughs> I was about to see myself right there. Um, let's check this out. See how it is. He rapidly leveled up and he rapidly changed his appearance. Oh, his whole yeah, his whole physiology changed. Oh, it's this show. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I did hear some. Well, I don't say I heard anything about it, but I always see. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let's go back. I didn't know they were going to have like a talking rabbit sitting on a block with his legs crossed. Hold up. <laughs> okay, I like that. Yeah, Yuya san over here doing crazy. Bro's going to get a whole harem, get some OP ability, get to travel from one world to another, and bring back what he gets. Okay, interesting. Interesting. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, I got a cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too. 
Mm, yeah, because, yo, he got uh, probably some OP skill in the other world. And then in our world, yo, no one could beat him up now. So he got the best of both worlds. What, what song is that from? That's a song in a Disney show. What? Hannah Montana? Right? I don't know. <laughs> I was not a big Disney fan. Um, I did not watch the Disney channel that much. But, um, yo, what up, Commonly? What is up? Um, animation looks very good for a steer that nobody has heard of. Yeah, that's... Yo, you're right, yo. Who is Milla Pensy? <laughs> who is Milla Pensy? Actually, what have they done? Have they done anything in the past? Yeah, this is the plan to watch as well. I'm muted. Oh uh, no, my my mic is on. Can you can you can't hear me? Or <laughs> um oh they also okay so Millipensy they did saw my spire so what? Okay, that's what they did. And they did a bunch of TQ. Um Berserk, Wake Up Girls. Okay, yeah, they haven't done a lot of big things. Yeah, I about to say yeah, because I know I know I responded to you earlier, so and you responded back to me, so <laughs> um Yeah, I don't know what's, what if you can't hear me commonly. I don't know what's on your what's happening on your end. But um okay, so Millipensy. Okay, interesting. What was the last show that they did do? Probably TQ, right? No, last show they did was Soma Spire So What. And that show aired, what, 2020? So they haven't done any anime in like three years? Two years? Interesting. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to checking this out. Um, seeing how seeing how it comes out. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I, I was like double checking my setting. I was like, wait, am I, am I muted all of a sudden? Um, am I plugged in? Okay. But... Yeah, okay, I'm definitely going to check this one out. I'm um, definitely looking forward to reacting to this one on the channel. Um, what was April 3rd, I said. So that's, I did say what, that's Monday? Oh, perfect. Yeah, definitely will be checking this one out. Um, okay, Summon to Another World for the second time. Here we go, another isekai. Um, oh, it's all good. It's all good, man. <laughs> okay, Summon to Another World for the second time. Okay, so we got a double feature isekai right here um, <laughs> um, by Studio... Ellie or L, um, Setsu was once summoned into the alternate world of El Eclair, um, where he ended a war between humans, beastmen, and demons, and brought peace to the land. He was hailed as a hero who arc who achieved world peace, surpassing all ra racial barriers for the first time. But after war, he was sent back to his original world. Okay. Though he had to restart as a baby, he regained his memories and all powers from the other world. Then he made it back to high school age. He was once again summoned to Eclair, where five years have had passed and war threatened land again. Dang. So, bro. <laughs> These guys getting getting more and more more and more intriguing or intricate. So this guy died in our world. Got. What, re reincarn oh no, he got summoned to another world. Um, he ended the war, got some strong abilities. Then he was sent back to our world, was reborn, went back to high school, has the same abilities. Then he got summoned back again after saving this world. And only five years passed in that time in the other world. Wow. What a life. <laughs> what a life right there. Well, anyways, yeah, let's check out the preview for this. <laughs> see, see how this one is. Um. I've never heard of Studio Ellie. That's it's kind of interesting how these other studios are like rising up. Um, I don't know how the animation quality for this will be, but um, oh, it's a harem too. Okay, so this dude got a harem in the other world. <laughs> oh, that's called class. All this, <laughs> dude, everyone witnessed this. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so it's so, okay. Action. Okay, some comedy. Got the harem there. Oh. <laughs> Dang, all these girls head over heels for this dude. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Maybe like fish people? Like, huh. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, a lot of dark horses. Um, hmm. Okay, got me a little curious. Got me a little curious with this one. Um, I just want to go through, you know, cliches and whatnot. But you know, I see how it is. Um, it may, it may surprise me. It might go, might go beyond my expectations. Because my expectations for our kind of. In between right now but yeah i'm curious to see how this will come out who is studio ellie who are these studios <laughs> i've never heard of, well i probably have heard of studio ellie actually no i haven't they they have not done a lot of things okay so interesting right there interesting Oh, it's my own background music I'm hearing. Um, okay, so Mashal, Magic, and Muscles. Okay, so I have heard some interesting things about this one, um, particularly towards its manga source material. So I am curious how this one is or what it's about because I haven't seen anything with this one. But yeah, but um, it's by A1 Pictures coming out the 7th next week. Um, this wor- This is a world of magic. And w- uh, this is a world in which magic is casually used by everyone. In a deep dark forest, in this world of magic, there is a boy who single-mindedly, who is single-mindedly working out. His name is Mash. Brun dead or burn burn dead? Okay. And he has a secret. He can't use magic. Okay. All he wanted was to live a quiet life and his with his family but people suddenly started trying to kill him one day and somehow and he somehow finds himself enrolled in magic school there he sets his sights on becoming a divine visionary the elite of the elite will his will his ripped muscles work against the best and brightest of the wizard of the wizarding world the currents rise on this off keter magical fantasy in which the power of being jacked crushes any spell <laughs> Yo, who wrote the synopsis for this? I like it. Okay, so it's yeah, it's magic and muscles. More like magic versus muscles. Okay, this one looks this sounds interesting. Yo, it's got me intrigued. It kind of reminds me of when they said a, a person in a world of magic. Um when they said a world of magic and there's one person who can't use magic, that kind of reminded me of what Black Clover is that like happens there? That one kid, the dude, he can't use the thing. Um or I know this. That's like the plot line and a bunch of other like fantasy world storylines where everyone could use magic, but one person and you know they just this is built. <laughs> you know they built different than everyone else, like literally, <laughs> physically. Um, okay. <laughs> um, English teaser preview preview. Okay, I think it's this one. Okay. There we go. Aniplex, man, Aniplex never changed that sound effect. I love that sound effect. Um, oh yo, Ryuka, Ry- Ryosuke Hero, yo, what is up? <laughs> I see you with the chainsaw, man. Um, Bochi ones, yo, what's up? Suffer Hell's Paradise on Saturday. Yep, I'm excited too. I'm excited too. That's the Saturday too. I haven't checked out the preview for that yet, but you're gonna be catching up to that one soon, Don the preview list (laughs) oh man but oh let me start this over mash and muscles oh cream puffs i didn't know what that was this is like going to harry potter school i'm going to hogwarts and you can't use magic you can't use a wand or anything <laughs> you're just built <laughs> so you're just all muscle mm, they all looking at him like i mean you know why mm. okay i'm sure about to crush it hey solve with my fist <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, this show's also like a cooking simulator too? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was expecting that. Oh, man. Mash and muscle. Okay, do you usually have... Dang, who... Man, we got spam all of a sudden? Uh, I am not interested in that, but, um, do you usually have the green screen covering the trailer? Um, yeah, part, well, this one was also darker, so you probably can't have seen it as well, but, yeah, for this mainly, only because I'm also on YouTube and Twitch. If I was only on Twitch, I wouldn't, but on YouTube, you know, <laughs> not trying to do no YouTube, <laughs> YouTube copyright props. Um, so, yeah, okay, okay, this one looks interesting. It seems like it, yeah, parody, okay. I don't know why I was expecting this to be like more serious toned and action focused, but okay, so okay, action comedy parody. Okay, I, sh I should have read the tags before, but um, yeah, YouTube copyright. Yep, <laughs> yep, yeah, YouTube. You know, it's ugh, YouTube. Anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, this one looks interesting. Um, anything else about it though, like? Yeah, this is by A1 Pictures. Okay. Mashal. Okay, that's the name of the manga. Interesting. Yeah, I'll give it a peep. Okay, Oshi no Ko. If I'm not mistaken, this is also by the same creator of Ka Ka Kaguya-sama, Love is War. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to this one, too. Um, yeah, yo, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of good sequels this season. Um, yeah, we already. Yeah, we actually checked out the Demon Slayer preview earlier. I have the yet to see the um, Wish of Mercury. Yo, season one, ah, the ending. Okay, but yo, o Oshinoko, Oshinoko. <laughs> you mean hype for these other trailers? Um, okay, I don't know anything about this though, other than you know that's by the same creator of um, Kaguya, right? So, and episode one did air earlier sometime i think it was last month um it they had like an early premiere of this so interesting but okay when a pregnant when a pregnant preg pregnant why can't i struggle to say that? okay when a pregnant young starlet appears in guru mmia's countryside medical clinic the doctor's the doctor takes it upon himself to safely and securely deliver Ai Hoshino's child so she can make a scandal-free return to the stage. But no good deed goes unpunished, and on the I and on the eve of her delivery, he finds himself slain at the hands of Ai's deluded stalker. Ooh, that got dark kind of quick. And subs and subsequently reborn as Ai's child. I didn't know it was going to... Whoa. I, whoa. Okay. Um, Aqua, me, and Hoshino. <laughs> the glitz and glamour of showbiz hide the dark underbelly of the entertainment industry, threatening the dull and shine of its favorite, favorite star. Can he help his new mother rise to the top of the charts? And what will he do when the unthinkable disaster strikes? I had no idea what the plot line for this was. I knew what I had to do with music, like an idol. What? <laughs> that some dude gets murdered and reborn into this child that he was trying to deliver? Wow. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, let's check out the preview for this. I, I, I did not expect that. Um, it's by Doga Kobo coming out the twelfth, and the of the year right here. I guess we have to see. We have to see. I think it. I think it might be though. I know that a lot of people have been talking about this. Um, it's gonna be so wholesome. Okay. Um, check out the preview for this. Yeah, here we go. Yo, them eyeballs. Yo, I like I like the anime. I like the detail in the eyes. I don't know. It, it, it looks cool. Maybe it's just different. They said English. Do I have to click subtitle? Okay, there we go. Restart this for y'all. Okay. And she's pregnant? She was pregnant? 
right? <laughs> Yo, the question is, who's the father? <laughs> who's, the, who's the father right there? Hey! <laughs> Yo, yo, soundtrack for this is about to be nice. What the heck? Dang, they were killing it with that theme. <laughs> yo, I am looking forward to this one. Yo, I think you might be right. This might be anime of the year right here. <laughs> the preview got me sold already. Okay, got me curious about this one though. It got me curious. Um, I said the toll for this one. What day is that? Wednesday? Okay, this one's also on Wednesday. Okay. Red equals best girl? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Yo, this looks pretty good. It's also 11 episodes. Dang, they said we only need 11. <laughs> we only need 11, y'all. We don't need 12. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, definitely want to check this out. Um, I haven't checked that. Actually, I haven't checked out where these anime are streaming. Where is it streaming? High Dive? Oh, boy. Well, I'm about to be pirating that. Um, I think everything else is on Crunchyroll, right? No, this is on High Dive as well. Crunchyroll and... It's either Crunchyroll or High Dive with these. <laughs> I'm saying that like Funimation's around. R.I.P. Funimation. But, okay. Okay, I'm looking forward to this one though. It definitely looks cute. It looks cute, funny. Um, when it gets to some dramatic moments, I think it'll be handled pretty, you know, pretty solid. Um, yeah, they did have an early screening somewhere, right? Yeah, there was a screening in... Um, yeah, oh... 13 days ago, two weeks ago, oh, nearly two weeks ago. Okay. This is by the same creator as Kagi, right? I'm not Asaka, Akasaka, Aka, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I, I'd like make sure. <laughs> okay. Loving Yamada level 999 by Madhouse. Madhouse has been doing some rom coms the past few years. I remember Madhouse used to do mainly. I guess more dramatic tone shows and serious, but I've seen them do a lot of rom-coms recently. Not that they haven't done that before, but I don't know. I feel like I see that more from them nowadays. I could be wrong. What, what have they done recently? Before I read the synopsis for this, since I know this is this is rom-com territory. Oh, they did Overlord. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I retract my whole statement. I I, I retract everything I said. Um, <laughs> actually, they do have a nice variety. Actually, um, act, they actually do that. If you didn't know, um, let me say actually five times. Okay, loving Yamada at level nine ninety nine. Recently dumped, Akane is about to quit the game she used to play with her boyfriend when she meets Yamada in the same RPG. Yamada in real life turns out to be somewhat of a legend. The only problem is he is only interested in the game. As Akane's feelings grow, will Yamada focus, Yamada's focus stay on the game? Okay, so Broma, a gamer girl, and they're about, she's interested in him, but he's not in her? Um, oh, because she used to play with her boyfriend. Ah, oh, okay, she used, to, she used to bond with her boyfriend playing a game, and okay, interesting. What are they playing? Minecraft? Like, yo, Minecraft is solid. I haven't played Minecraft in a while though. Uh, okay, they don't have. Okay, they don't have it announced where it's airing yet, or any plus. Um, that's not available available in my country apparently. But okay, let's, let's check out the preview. Um, none are in English, so. So this is Yam this is Yamada. This is the girl. Or is she Yamada? Okay, looks looks like the friend. Okay, some old dude. Hoodie. Okay. Are Kono no me of Rodare Dak. Ah Yamada. Stop of this actually kind of reminds me of another show. Oh, 
is. I can't think of which one though, but. Oh, okay. We got like a Cinderella start right there. I dropped my heel. Thank you for picking it up. But actually, no. She left her heel. Never mind. Okay, do the gamer. You got that double monitor set up. Okay, let's see. Okay, other classmates, other characters. Yeah, you already know it. <laughs> we pirates over here. <laughs> okay. Dang, it's... What is this right here anyways? I always see this. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be pirating this one, no doubt. Man. I feel like that was like, like half the shows this season, actually. I was like, dang, where are these shows airing? Um... But yo, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I remember this people talking about this like a year ago and saying a lot of like positive things about it. Um, I mean, if you're a fan of it, of course, you're going to say a bunch of positive things about it. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to checking it. I'm looking forward to checking this out. Man, I'm slurring my words. Um, when did the manga for this come out? Or is this based off a light novel? No, it's a manga. Okay. 2019. Okay. Okay, but I know I saw the manga somewhere. I was like, wait, did the manga recently come out? No, it's been out for four years. So, okay, I'm going to check this one out. Um, this actually comes out this Saturday as well. Um, did I say anything else is airing on Saturday yet? No, I know Hell's Paradise does. So, looking forward to that one. Um, Ancient Magus Bride Season 2. Um, I would check out the preview for this. I'm not even going to look, read the synopsis right now. I'm looking at y'all. Um... But yeah, I haven't I haven't finished season one yet, so yeah, I don't know if I'll be checking out season two for this on the channel by the time I finish season one. I might live stream season one actually, meet my reacts for that one, and maybe catch up to it that way, maybe. Or I might just binge watch it on my own. I'll see. Um, I know that I did check out the OVA for Ma Ancient Magus Bride a while back when those first came out, and the fact that I got an anime adaptation is really cool. I think it's by a different studio though, right? But season one was by Wit right what studio what's going on why aren't y'all doing like yeah season one was by wit dang what studio you're just getting rid of all your your shows <laughs> you're letting everyone else take it take up something else but hey, it is what it is they they're focusing on their new projects so okay i'm curious how season two will be i mean hopefully if hey if you're fans of the series um hey season two is coming out um yay I, I can't really say much else about that one. Um, okay, but you know, next one, <laughs> the aristocrats of the worldly adventure, serving gods who go too far. This is an isekai. Okay, Shinya Shina Kazuya is killed protecting a young girl at a convenience store, where he just happened to be at the wrong time. Jeez, I mean, you protected her, I hope, before you died. Um, the thing he knows, the th ne the next thing he knows, he is the he is in the kind of world he has only dreamed about. A world of magic and swords. He has been reincarnated as Kane von Silford, the son of an aristocratic family, and he quickly grows interested in many things he sees. Then on his fifth birthday, he is baptized at a church avoiding a, according to, to tradition. And the gods grant him several divine blessings, along with stats that could only be described as unusual and extraordinary. In his reincarnated life, when he when it comes to things like battles, romance, and studying, apparently a little overkill is just right. When he puts in the usual effort to do things punctually and properly, it only gets him in trouble. Thus, Cain's chaotic life in another world begins. Okay, so... Okay, so, yeah, okay, Nisekai, um, this dude reincarnates in another world, and it seems like he, 
I don't know, he messes things up and unintentionally. He's just clumsy. <laughs> is, it, is that what it is? He's a, he's a clumsy protagonist? Okay, let's, let's check out the preview for this one. I keep clicking. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Um, actually, where is this airing? Okay, Crunchyroll. Interesting. My thing is that another thing that when it comes to, like, these streaming services is that they sometimes... I think it depends on the show mainly, you know. I know that happened with some shows last season where they create a censored version versus uncensored version and there's not that big of a difference i think some people were saying that with onimai um i think that was the only show but i don't know whenever there's like little differences like that um Ah, yeah, yeah. You send. Oh man. Okay, I just got a text message from someone. I gave them, I gave them really specific directions to open up a file. <laughs> they said I can't do that. I told you how to do that. Anyways, I'll text them after this. I'm streaming right now. I'm checking out anime. <laughs> Priorities right now. Um, let's check this out though. This looks like it's gonna be like more so com comedy driven, no doubt about it. And you know, just in it for the ride. Chill comedy. That's an aristocrat too. Cool. Work hard for your dreams, man. <laughs> use, that, use that fire magic. And blessed by the god. Okay. <laughs> okay, and he got insane stats. Okay, I, sh I should have expected that too. <laughs> A few scenes and some voice lines. Oh, man. I should need to finish that show. I think it ended the last week. Okay. My opinion on this one right here, I'm not as it doesn't it doesn't pique my interest completely to be honest. I mean, I'm just I'm, I'm going to check it out. You know, I'm going to check I check out everything, but I I don't know if I like it that much. I mean, I'll give it a first couple episodes. It's not my type of show, um, but from from appearance on the trailer, so yeah, I'll see how this one is. Um, it seems I. It seems eh. Okay, Kuma 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 Bear Punch. I think this is season two to Kuma Kuma Bear season one, right? Or is this season three? I don't know. I never saw the previous seasons, but this is a sequel, right? The second season of Kuma 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 Bear. Okay, so I never saw season one of this. Um, I know it's a comedy. Yeah, comedy. Um, yeah, I don't much else to say about that, but um, yo. Hell's Paradise, here we go. I have not seen any trailers for this one. I have no idea what this show is about. Um, I just know it's by Mappa and it's about to be cool. So, uh, so the adaptation is not as bad as everybody. <laughs> yo, you're not wrong about that. You are not wrong about that. Oh man, yo, I that show had me salty as heck in the end. I was like, dang, I really watched all 12 episodes of this. So I, should, I, I was actually like mad. I watched that whole show and disappointed in my in my time watching it. But you know, anyways, your Hell's Paradise. <laughs> I, let's hope that this adaptation definitely is better than Reborn to the Master Blade. Um, disappointing right there with that show. But okay, Hell's Paradise um, action adventure, adventure historical shonen supernatural by Mappa Studio coming out this Saturday, April fourth. First, which is actually that's also my um channel anniversary if anyone didn't know um i was hey i started youtube i actually my first react video on the channel was april 1st of 2017 with attack and titan season 2 um episode 1 um six years ago on that day so hey what do you know but anyways the edo period 
is nearing its end. Gabimaru, a shinobi formerly known as the strongest in Iwagakure, who is now a death row convict, is told he will be acquainted, will be acquitted and set free if he can go back to get if he can bring back the elixir of life from an island that is rumored to be the Buddhist pure land Sakavati. I'm sorry if I say any of these names wrong, but in hopes of reuniting with his beloved wife, Gabi Maru heads to the island along with the executioner Yamada Aseman Sagiri. Upon arriving there, they encounter the death row convicts of, in search of the elixir, elixir of life, as well as a host of unknown creatures, eerie man-made statues, and the hermits who rule the land. Can Gabi Maru, can Gabi Maru find the elixir of life on this mysterious island and make it back home alive? Okay. The light novel is peak. Okay. For Aristocrat? Okay. So Hell's Paradise. Okay. So that's what the okay, so this one is more so adventurous. I, I adventurous. I didn't know that. Um let's check out the preview. Um, my first time checking it out. Um I don't know if any of you have seen the preview for this one, but I'm excited for this. Since I always hear so many things about this one. I was actually going to read the manga for this a while ago, but never did that. No, I never bought it. <laughs> I had to double check. I was like, wait, did I buy it? No. Yo, that eyeball. Hmm. Mm, okay. Okay. You see the squad get together for this on their journey. I'm falling a little bit for this one, yo. They're playing a lot of this opening song. <laughs> okay. Yo, opening song sounds nice. Okay. Okay, real talk. I feel like I did not read anything that was said, but <laughs> that they were talking about. But yo, this looks interesting though. Um, I think I get this just from already the plot line. But yo, quality wise, it looks pretty. I mean, Mappa quality. You know, well, I'm, let me not say Mappa quality since Mappa does have some shows here and there. But you know, this looks pretty good. Um, looks intriguing. You know, story wise, got me curious about how it's gonna be visually. You know action-packed and you know i like that i like that you know I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for an action i'm i don't know i feel like my tastes are always so broad that i'm just like yo i'm kind of in an action mood but i kind of like comedy and then some romance and a little bit of drama then some mystery then thriller so but you know i actually am looking forward to seeing you know like a i don't know grungy i don't say grungy but you know like action heavy you know not not action heavy but Gritty is that the term? I guess I don't know if it'll be like gritty, but um, I guess something close to that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to whenever for when this comes out. Checking out on this Saturday, two days from now. Um, on Crunchyroll, okay, it's on Crunchyroll. Okay, next we have Ranking of Kings, the Treasure Chest of Courage. Now, I heard people talking about this like a month ago, and I thought people were just talking about. A season two that was announced for like next year but or some ova but there's actually like a spin-off series on ranking of kings um or a story collection series um what <laughs> um <clears throat> ranking of kings ended last last year right yeah the second core ended um winter of last year so it's been like around a year since last season <clears throat> 
So yeah, I'm curious how this spin-off series is going to be. Um, okay, in the new series, an unrevealed tale of the courage involv involving Boji, Kage, and friends who have gathered around them is told. Okay, so it looks like it's like going to be like, what, short stories? I guess? Or showing stuff that happened in the background throughout the series, maybe? Or before? I, I don't know, but either case, I'm looking forward to when this comes out, or... We're not well. I know it's gonna come out in like a few days or two weeks, but looking forward to checking this out. Um, I think I have seen the preview for this one already. So, but yeah, let's check it again. Okay, one more story left untold. Okay, so we're diving into some of the stories on these characters. Okay. Yeah, some backgrounds, of course. Okay. Oh, what, 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 was, what was that? <laughs> They're sure to find it. Okay. Okay, looking forward to checking this out. I wonder if it's going to be like a few episodes is going to follow like a certain arc. Then we're going to go to the next one most likely for another few episodes. At least I assume that's probably going to be the structure of it. But... Yeah, anyways... Ranking King's returning. Definitely looking forward to checking that out. Um, okay, I'm making sure I'm marking these. Okay, a new anime right here. That's not a sequel or anything. My One Hit Kill Sister. This one kind of... My, okay, when I saw the um, title for this, and actually I read the synopsis for this already, um, I was like, okay, this kind of reminds me of... What was it? The... Um, In another world with the dude's mom, right? I forget, I forget the title of it. I was about to say the title, but I was like, no, that's not it. Um, my mother's double hit, two kill attack, and something. I, I don't know the name of it, but um, it reminds me of that show. But one punch sis who was a brocon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh man. So yeah. Anyways, yo, synopsis though. What? What? What's, why is that keep popping up? Stop. I'll, I'll consider. It, okay. Jeez. Okay, let me just use scroll reel. Um, the strongest one is the alternate world, which isn't me, but my older sister. Asahi, a boy. There we go. Asahi, a boy who loves... Can y'all see my mouse? Yeah, you can't see my mouse. Okay. Asahi, a boy who loves video games, is killed in a traffic accident and ends up in another world. He tries to enjoy the otherworldly adventuring life he's always dreamed of, but his stats are on the level of an NPC. Star from the bottom. He is in big trouble for being chased out chased by a monster when he hears fear not little brother and the monster is killed by in one hit by asahi's older sister maya who followed asahi into this world so maya is a quite has acquired some seriously op skills but she takes her adoration of her br younger brother to extremes yep thus begins our story of an overpowered older sister with a brother complex and a young brother with the weakest of stats in another world where man I'm strong, but because, man, my sister is strong. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Okay. Making sure. And it's by Gecko. Who is Gecko? Let's see. Who is Gecko Studio? Before I check out the preview. These studios is popping up out of nowhere. Yeah, they're just coming out of nowhere. Who? Gecko Studio just is new. <laughs> okay. These new studios. I, I like that though. I like hearing these new studios um, popping up. I like that. Um, let's check out the preview for this. Character previews. Here we go. Bro, you ain't gonna kill nothing with that sword. <laughs> oh, 
I expected that with this show. With this show. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Definitely fan service for this with this show. Yep, <laughs> you studios equal more anime, for real. Okay, I'm looking at bros also gonna get the harem in this world too. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my volume for this a little bit since there's, there's a lot of music in this one. Okay, Sophie. Okay, we have the okay combat mage right here. Okay, this dude who's, who's not going to do help. Is he going to help at all? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, go back home. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Wait, what's this? Oh, okay. I, I messed something up over here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, okay. This one looks like yeah, definitely comedy driven with this one. You know, they got the was it Brocon like bro brother complex with this one. So I already knew what to expect with this show. I definitely give it a peep, no doubt. Um, definitely get some laughs in this one, and you'll see how it is. You know, so. Next, we got the legendary hero is dead. Is this an isekai or is this one just fantasy? Uh, far to the north of the world lies Hell's Gate, a portal fam formerly used by the demon lord to invade the human realm. Thanks to the legendary hero, Shion Bladdirts, wielder, wielder of the Excalibur, <clears throat> and his loyal band of companions, the gate was sealed off and the, demon and the demonic threat was vanquished. I hate this thing popping up. Um, unfortunately, the seal was incomplete and has begun to weaken, allowing the demons to once again begin their attack. Worried about the safety of his village, selfish and perverted farmer Toka Scott digs pitfalls to def defend against the demons. If they had to make sure we knew that he was perverse. But, but fear not, for Shion is on his way to reseal Hell's Gate and save humanity. Or at least he was, because the legendary hero is dead. Having fallen into one of the pitfalls, Toka dug. Oh. <laughs> it's not from like, okay. Luckily, dealing with the dead is, special, is the specialty of a necromancer, Henri Hainsworth. While she can while she can revive him, Henri can at least salvage their quest by forcing Co Toka's soul into Shion's rotting body and dragging him along to Hell's Gate in Shion's place. Not wanting to be left behind, Toka's new childhood friend, Yuna Yunus, tags along. Together, the three of them set off as what just might be the most un unsuitable party to ever save the world. Okay. What I get from this, um, a ragtag group of people are going to over here save the world. <laughs> Um, right to from the demon lord or something the hell's gate okay that's that's what usually is you know fancy demon lord stuff oh yeah fan service with this one they're showing off the thighs right there Oh, man. I mean, bro had good intentions. Um, unfortunately, the hero, R.I.P. <laughs><笑> Anime, Yusha Nashinda, Misen Nishu Sunday Shiatsu, Hosso. 
Damn, they said that in unison. <laughs> oh, I guess it's time to get serious. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I'll give it a... I mean, I'm going to give everything a P. Let me not even, like, say that I'm not going to watch it. But, okay, seems intriguing. Definitely comedy-driven, no doubt. Etchy, you know, fan service. Fancy world. So... Yeah, let's see how it comes out. See if it's my type of comedy. I mean, comedy subjective. So I think that's where it, where it comes down when it comes to fancy anime. Or not fancy, but comedy anime in general. So I'll see if it's, you know, my type of comedy and whatnot. And let's see how it comes out. So, excuse me. And it's also you know, based off of manga too. So there's that. Um, wait, how much of the manga was adapted? That's something I should have checked with some of the other ones, but... <clears throat> well, not how much out of the manga is adapted so far, but how many volumes are out? When did this come out? Oh, it's over. It finished publishing. Interesting. Twenty volumes. Okay, I doubt there'd be a there'd be a whole season in <laughs> in with 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 twenty volumes. I doubt that. But okay, so if it does really good, then there's possibility of there being a sequel. If anything, or you can also read the manga for it. And there's, and there's a sequel series to the manga, too. So the manga series is that popular? Interesting. Okay. Got me got me a little bit more intrigued now. Got me, got me a little bit more invested. Okay, let me... I'll give it a peep. But next, we got The Dangers in My Heart, a rom-com slice of life anime. Okay, I kind of get the gist of where, where, where we might be going with this one. But fascinated by murder... Okay, fascinated by murder and all things ma macabre, um, Kiy <laughs> Kiyotaru daydreams of acting out of his twisted fantasies on his unsuspected classmate, unsuspecting classmates. Okay, so dude has his own hobbies, hate to each their own. I'm not going to hate on that, but in but an encounter with Anna. Okay, but um, where was I? But an encounter with Anna Yamada, the gorgeous gl class idol, spark lights a spark in the darkness of his heart. It's a classic tale of an antisocial boy falling for a popular girl, but neither are who they appear to be at first glance. Will Kiyotaro and Anna did defy the expectations of each other and of themselves? Yeah, I, I already knew that was going to be the case. You know, popular girl in class, non-popular boy at school that no one really interacts with. He just... He's, he's just keeping to himself. <laughs> I feel that, man. So, yo, let's check out the preview for this one. Definitely, yeah, definitely rom-com territory. Wait, did they say English? So. No, they didn't. Wait, is there one? Yeah, Kubo Santo. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's the show I was thinking of. I was like, wait, isn't there another show that aired recently? Yeah, Kubo San, man. This is the Kubo San 2.0. Okay, they got the teaser with Eng English. Okay, we'll just check out the one in Japanese. Yeah, definitely Kubo-san 2.0. This has become a anime trend with, you know, the popular girl and the non-popular boy. I feel like, well, that's always been like a trope, always been a trope, but I feel like I see it more, and more nowadays. Okay, she's a foodie. What, she keeps that a secret from everyone? Is that her secret? Yo, this is a lot of nice openings this season. <laughs> this, se this upcoming season. <laughs> Man. 
Oh, okay. Get some serious moments in this one. The dangers in my heart. Okay, this is cute. The real Johnny T Y O One. Yo, what is up? How's it going? Welcome. Yo, it's been a while. What's good? Yo, I'm I'm doing well. I'm doing good. How about you? <laughs> Yo, this one does look cute though. It's like a cute like little cute little rom com. I like rom coms like this in general too. I like this. I like this trope, despite it becoming very popular or I don't say popular, but I just feel like we see more of these type of shows nowadays, but you all like it still. Um, who is the voice actress? Her voice sounds familiar. It's also by Sheen A Entertain a Animation. That's the same studio that did Takagi-san, if I'm not mistaken. Interestingly enough. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, definitely going to be checking this one out. Um, who's the voice? Oh, never mind. I may not know the voice actress. Oh, she did Lainey last season. Okay. Interesting, interesting. It's based off of what? Manga? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely, yeah, definitely give it a peep, see how it is. Um, I think I like it, though. I think I like it. I mean, I liked Kubo-san. It's like that one, you know, from recently. So, I think I like this one, too. Okay. Next, we got A Galaxy Next Door by Asahi Production uh, coming out next week um, April 8th um, rom-com anime each episode streams 90 minutes earlier in Japan on the anime store and you next <laughs> you next <laughs> okay ever since her father died Ichiro Kuga has struggled to support her his two younger siblings but nothing but a small inheritance and his passion for drawing manga it's becoming harder to keep up with his, with his growing responsibilities and deadlines especially after his last two assistants quit to follow their dreams dang that's yeah i mean hey, they have their own lives too just as he's nearing his breaking point the beautiful and scarily competent shiori goshiki applies to become his new assistant but there's something almost otherworldly about goshiki goshiki and soon Kuka finds his reality turned upside down when she suddenly declares them engaged to marry. Well, that escalated quickly. Just like that, dude's about to get married. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of romance anime, like <laughs> romance after romance, <laughs> non-stop. We're, we're, on a, we're on a roll right here. But y'all check out the preview for this one. Since that, that seems got this one got me got me really invested, got me curious. Um, seems like it's gonna be cute. Um, yo, why is there okay? Here we go. I'm about to say crunch or why do you have every other language but English? Yeah, but you see, this seems cute. cute. <laughs> New assistant, yo, love at first sight. Oh, wait, that's a get this uh, get get out of here. What that said. From the author of Sweet... Oh, okay. So, the same author of Sweetness and Lightning. That show aired a while ago. <laughs> 2015? 2016? That's probably sooner than that. Mm. Okay, sure, she's a fan. Ow! <laughs> so, she could like... Why is your thorn coming out of your backside? Oh, so she's an alien? Just like that. Okay. Hmm. 
it was cute. I was expecting that. I was wondering where the Galaxy Next Door element came from, and what do you know? <laughs> She's from outer space. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, that, yo, that was a quick preview. <laughs> but yo, okay, that looks inter. Excuse me. But yo, that looks interesting. Um, seems cute, no doubt about it. Um, she's kinky. <laughs> oh man. But <laughs> I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Um, so Asahi Production. Who is Asahi? Who are these studios? Like, I, I, I know I've heard of Asahi Production. I know they. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They've, they've done stuff. Um, Peach Boy Riverside. Doll, Dolls Frontline. Battle of Ours? That was the last season, right? Winter? Yeah, Giant Beast of Ours. Okay, this was by them. Interesting. I haven't watched it, but... Yeah, not a lot of shows I'm really into with them. So... <clears throat> hey, this might be their... This might be their turning point. Yo, okay. Interesting. Okay. Hopefully it comes out well. I mean, the preview for it looks great, so... Let's hope the show does well, too. Dead Mount Death Play. What a title by Geek Toys. Coming out April 10th by Sana Manga. And make sure I read them tags. It's a showdown for the ages as the legendary hero takes on the corpse god Necromancer. But when the dust settles, something isn't quite right. In the final moments of their epic confrontation, the corpse god's, the corpse god's final gambit shot was wholly unexpected. Reincarnated magic. Reincarnation magic. Okay. Across space, and, across space and time, a boy named Polka Shinomiya awakens, feel, awakens feeling not quite himself. Who could, who could have expected that that climatic battle between good and evil would turn out like this? Okay, so the hero is fighting this god and stuff. Huh. Let's give it a peep. Yes, let's check out this preview. <laughs> um... Here we go. They always hide in the English ones, man. We talking about Siku. It's right in front of you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, blood was shed. <laughs> Okay. Okay, what kind of abilities does this dude got? Like It's like our world too? Oh, I thought this was gonna be like only fancy, but what? Okay. That should look pretty good, <laughs> like... <laughs> okay, that must be that battle in the beginning with the hero and the legendary thing. And then he gets reincarnated. Huh. <laughs> okay, and yeah, anime adaptation, yeah, that's... What, wait, what's this? The heck is this show? Okay, okay, okay. That that got me intrigued. It got me intrigued. Surprised me with that one. Surprised me. Okay, it's by Geek Toys. I, I was expecting that from Geek Toys. Um, is Geek Toys a studio I'm thinking of? Because I don't think I've liked some of their stuff. Dang, I haven't seen anything from Geek Toys. I take that back. <laughs> Oh no, I saw um, Ningen Fushi. Okay. Okay. It got me curious. Got me curious how this is, this is gonna be. Hmm. No one's talking about this one. I, I like. I like the title, Dead Mount Death Play. That sounds kind of cool. <laughs> oh, you going to be dead? Okay, yo. Thanks for tuning in, commonly. Yo, have yourselves a nice night too. But you definitely gotta check this one out. Um. 
Because I'm curious what kind of direction is going to go in with the whole reincarnation stuff. Um, or who this Polka Shinomiya is. Not feeling like himself. Well, the death god reincarnates into his body? Or he gets his ability, maybe? I don't know. Either way, that sounds interesting. Edson Zero Season 2. I never saw Season 1 of this, so... Yeah, I think it's by a different studio, too. I don't think... Did JC staff do Season 1 of this? They did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never watched it, but... Yeah, I'm not... I won't put skipping yet, but... Okay, the cafe, terrace, and its goddesses. Okay, so a goddess made cafe anime, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> okay, when Hayato's grandmother passed, he planned to sell her a rundown cafe on the shore, not realizing that it was also home to five young women who called themselves her family. Their desperation to keep the cafe open convinces Hayato to give it a shot. But even their best intentions may not be enough to make it work. And can he even work with these five unruly women? No matter what, he's got his work cut out for him. A new fun rom-com by the author of Fuka and Suzuka. Okay. I like Suzuka. You know, Fuka's alright too. I remember um, when Fuka, the anime, was announced a while ago. I think that was 2016. Um... I was like, yo, I really want to check out this anime, but I want to watch Suzuka first, since the characters in Suzuka, well, the characters in Suzuka, well, Fuka is one of the childs from the characters in Suzuka. So, um, when Fuka, the anime for that came out, they changed some things in the anime, basically, that I wasn't a big fan of. So, that's why, that's why I have the reaction I have to this, to the writer, um. I mean, they have some. I mean, the writing for Suzuka and Fuka are pretty good. The anime adaptation of it, though, wasn't my favorite, uh, especially of Fuka. But it's gas trust. <laughs> okay. W's. Damn, that she wrote a manga called W's. Anyways, yo, let's check out the preview for this, though. <laughs> oh man, um, I'm gonna be on Crunchyroll. Snaz Earl. What's up, by the way? Welcome, welcome. Oh, it'd be nice if I changed to my other screen. There we go. <laughs> oh, RIP, man. My condolences. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Dang, he they tied him up in his own home. <laughs> Dang. Wait, hold up. What did he say right there? That sounded like a little serious line. I was supposed to get back at everyone who mocked the grandma. Mm. Okay. Okay, now take over the cafe. We knew that. <laughs> okay, we got the whole harem element. Okay, rom com harem fan service anime. With maids in a cafe. <laughs> Oh, what caught my interest so far? Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to go through and show you. <laughs> but definitely Hell's Paradise is one off the top of my head. <laughs> okay. That's also going to have a little bit of wholesomeness, too. You know, this actually kind of reminds me of, I don't know why all of a sudden, I'm thinking of, uh, I'll let it finish out before I say that.
But I was going to say, yo, I don't know, the whole dynamic for a second, I don't know, I just instantly thought of, like, uh, Kinsisumple Kintuplets for a second. Like, not the same dynamic, but, well, maybe similar, but, you know, different setting, you know. And they're not Kintuplets, instead they're just, you know, they're each individuals and whatnot. But, yeah, either way, yo, this looks interesting. Um, definitely got to give it a peep. Uh, I thought it was, like, literal goddesses in this one, but, um, <laughs> But yeah, Hell's Paradise was one I'm definitely um, looking forward to. That caught my eye. Recently, Dead Mount Death Play. That seemed intriguing. <laughs> we just saw the preview for that one. That one was intriguing. Um, Oshi no Ko, no doubt about it. Summon to Another World for a second time. Right, this is the one that got me. No, no, not this one. It was also this one. I got a cheat skill in Another World. That one also got me intrigued. And, you know, the, second, the sequels to other shows definitely <laughs> i'm gonna be checking those out are cool but those are the ones that definitely got me you know most most hype if anything you know so far so this one also you know dangers in my heart is nice we got not, a lot of nice titles for this season a lot of interesting titles oh here we go here's another show now this is one show i'm really looking forward to Mobile Suit Gundam, Witch of Mercury Season 2. Oh, man. Um, season 1 was really nice. I, I liked Season 1, personally. Um, it ended on a really nice note. Oh, excuse me. And here's how Season 2 is going to be for this. Especially ending on it the way it did on that... Excuse me. Bloody note. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say too much. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. But Well, I'm going to check out the preview anyway. So, if you haven't seen it, then... I can't get over this text message, but let's check out the preview for this one because I have not seen the preview for this yet. Um, is there even a preview for this one? Yeah, there is. Man, this is such a good season. Such a good season, man. Yeah, yo, what, for real, yo, each week was just like, dang, what's going to happen? Like, this is, is, there's like few shows that... I don't know, as the years have gone by, I realized that there's, like, very few shows that have me, like, dang, I really am excited for next week's episode, um, or I'm really looking forward to it, and this is one of those shows where I'm just like, dang, can I get the next episode right now? <laughs> so, let's check out this preview. Um, let me lower this volume for that. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's her mother, man. What is up with her? The manipulation. <laughs> Why is it popping up? Get out of here. Okay. Wait. Oh, there's no subtitles. Okay. Suleta, man. Oh, man. Yo, the tone of last season got got dark so quick. I like it. <laughs> Especially balancing that with like the whole politics going on in this world and story and stuff. I like it. It's pretty cool. Man. That person. Girls will confront the mighty curse. Okay, yeah, because we have the witches on Earth. Okay, her her father's still in critical condition. Oh, betrayal? <laughs> Oh, Miorin is going to confront her mother, um, Suleta's mom. What was her name? Promera or something? Mm hmm. Sunrise, hey. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Looking forward to this one. I need I need something for my Sundays. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be gonna be my Sunday anime. Or is it gonna be on a different day? Is it gonna be on Sundays again? Yeah it is, okay. 
I'm looking at the right calendar. Yeah, okay. It's <laughs> make sure I'm on the right calendar. Um, yeah, I'm looking for this one. Definitely gonna be checking this one out on the channel. Almost knocked over my monitor just moving my mouse. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yo, if you haven't checked out season one yet, anyone, check it out. It's really good. Um, and you don't really need to check out any of the previous Gundam series for this one from what I know. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, you know, 12 episodes. What's this? Kamikatsu working for God in a godless world. Is this a new anime or is this a sequel to something? I think this is new. <laughs> I think this is a new one, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't, I don't know why. It, I thought it was a sequel, but it's by Studio Palette. Um, each episode streams one hour earlier. As here to a cult leader, Yuki, Yukito enters his life around the mysterious goddess Mitami. But everything changes after he's killed during a ritual gone wrong. To his surprise, Yukito is reborn into a world with no concept of God. Interesting. And in this world, life and death are decided by the Imperial State. As Yukito fights to protect his new village, someone from his past life lends a helping hand. Huh. Okay, so in a previous world, he had a, there was a goddess he would knew or he was sent to. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, this one <laughs> the plot for this one looks like it's gonna be a little crazy. <laughs> Um, oh, but it looks like it's gonna be a comedy. Oh, it's a comedy. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be more serious, but the more you know, the more you watch. <laughs> oh, dang, yo, he drowned to death. Was, uh, terrible. Yo, <laughs> why'd I have to add in that crack sound effect? Jeez, that was not a lever, lady. That was not a lever. <laughs> Poor dude. Yeah, man, you, you don't get, you didn't get no OP ability, <laughs> so you're just chilling. <laughs> so they're, so they're forced to end their lives. Wow. Dang, I thought it was just... Itama, okay, so he has his own personal goddess. Working for God in a godless world, okay. That, that makes sense with this title now. Okay. And the covers for the, um... <laughs> the source material covers for this. <laughs> Who's the artist? <laughs> I know it's that in the corner. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, seems seems interesting. Um, interesting premise. Um, you know, like a mix of like seriousness, but also comedy too. Okay, I guess that's also going to come from the goddess side there too. So interesting. Excuse me. In this society where they, you, where at a certain age you just they you just die like wow, the government says hey you die there like that's insane. Oh, that song's at my door. Okay, insomnia, somniacs after school. Ganta and Nakami is a. 
Gantan Nakami is a high school student who suffers from insomnia. One day he meets Isaki Magari, a girl with the same condition. A strange but special relationship forms as they share a secret to catch up with their sleep in their school's abandoned abandoned observatory. Insomnia, that's... Insomnia is a common sleep disorder. With insomnia, you have trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or getting good sleep quality. Good quality sleep. This happens when you have the time and right environment to sleep well. Insomnia can get in the way of your daily to make you feel sleepy during the day. Oh, okay. Like, I kind of knew I had to do something with, like, lack of sleep, but... Okay. Let's check out the preview for this. Okay. Insomnia rom-com right here. They both can't sleep. They have something in common right there. Okay, no subtitles. Okay. This kind of gives me like similar vibes. Not well, not the, exactly the same vibes, but I don't know. The night atmosphere kind of reminds me like Call of the Night. Okay, we get other characters showing up. Okay, some night photography. Yeah, the night sky. Yeah, that's cool. ね、寝れないから。部活頑張んなもいいけど、楽しめる時に楽しまないと。Cute, cute rock com. Okay, then we give this one a watch to Linden Films. They also did another show. What else are they doing this season? They did something else. Yeah, the legendary hero is dead. Are they doing anything else? No, okay, only that. How far are we now? List two. We're only halfway there. Dang. Okay, next. <laughs> Let, let's get through this quickly then. Why Rayliana ended up with at the Duke's mansion by Typhoon Graphics. Um, Yuna Park thought she was getting another chance at life when she wo awoke in the world of a novel. The only problem, Rayliana McMilla, the character she was born as is fated to be killed by her fiance. For sake of her survival, she comes up with an idea. Get into a fake marriage with a man more powerful than her groom to be, but when that prediction comes in the form of Noah Wynight, the Duke with the warm with a warm smile and cold heart, Liliana realizes she might be a bit in over her head. She's gonna regret this plan, isn't she? This kind of reminds me of that show that aired during fall, is it I think? Reincarnated into another world as this world's villainous, but something. It's not all reason my, reason my doom. It's the other one. Um, I'm the villainous or something. I, I forget. It's something with the villainous, but it reminds me of that one. But she's not the villainous. She just is in a terrible situation with her to soon to be husband who is. Um, actually just terrible so um, so yeah who kills her actually he kills her it's, okay he's not terrible he he's a, he straight up kills her so um and then we have the cold dude whom she's going to get close with and warm his cold hearts probably so let's check out the preview for this this is in the preview here we go it's also going to be like in a school setting too and then like magic world or is this going to be like I know it's fancy like ish. Like medieval fancy or modern fantasy or Oh, that's how she died? Oh! I saw the preview for this a while ago. Okay, yeah. yeah. Romance Isekai. Okay. 
人物であることを除いては私レリアのマクミランは近いうちに命を落とす。Yeah, I'm looking for this one. Yeah, she's here. I'm not about to die another time. Not, I'm not, I don't even know who killed me the first time. <laughs> Does she, Ashley? I wonder if anyone else got reincarnated into this world with her from her previous life. Maybe, maybe not, but. Okay. I'm at, this is actually what I am looking forward to. I've seen the preview a while ago. Okay. I like the mystery, mystery aspect of this. Well, not really mystery aspect, but I don't know. I like her trying to. Trying to get with him, and then him. I know. I like. I like the、um, interaction we have with the characters in this one. Okay, next, Heavenly Delusion by Production IG, the same studio that does a bunch of sports anime.、Um, have they done anything in recent years? What's last Production IG show I saw?、Um, High Q. <laughs> What's this? What have they done recently? Oh, they did. Oh, no, that, that's producer.、Um, oh, they're doing Uzum. Oh, no, they're producing Uzumaki. What, have, what has Production IG done recently? Oh, they did Al Ashi last year. Okay. Other than that, okay, there's this show. They've been a bunch of producers for things, so. Huh. Okay. What is Heavenly Delusional? Delusional? About though, within the safety of the walls, youths are raised in a nursery style setting by robots. That's great. While, while life there may be stale on the surface, the children are full of potential and curiosity. In many ways, it is like a slice of heaven. Really? The outside world is a hellscape. Is almost entirely void with, of anything mechanical and is now inhabited by bizarre yet powerful supernatural beings. Maru, with the aid of Kuruko, is out here crisscrossing with what was once Tokyo for heaven. But after searching for so long, maybe heaven is more of an, an unattainable dream than a potential reality. Okay. So they're trying to regain their home? Or regain what was lost of Tokyo? Old Tokyo or something? This actually kind of reminds me of.、Um, not Shadow's House.、Um, the other show by the same studio. With the children, orphanage, and they. Was there a certain age? What show am I thinking of? There's those three smart children. The heck can I think of this show? It's going to bother me now. Disney Plus? What the heck? Y'all see that in the bottom corner? This is gonna be on Disney Plus? Oh, heck no. <laughs> What show am I thinking of?、Um, Cloverworks. I know it's by Cloverworks.、Um, yeah, I promise Neverland. <laughs> Super hype, both. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was struggling here. I was like, what, what am I thinking of? <laughs> okay, I promise Love Neverland. Yeah.、Um, the premise of this kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I could not think of it for the for the life. I, I, I was thinking of like so many other titles. And yeah, this is Disney Plus too? Oh man. Is it airing anywhere else? Ugh, okay. Whoa. A pirate's life for me. Uh huh. Okay, let's check out this、um, let's check out this preview. <laughs> Yeah, Tokyo 
Yeah, yeah what's outside, man? What is outside these dead lands? Post-apocalyptic world. Okay. <laughs> she said, yo, I want to get out there. I'll kill him. <laughs> oh, I actually saw a bit of this teaser a while ago. Oh, human experimentation. Mm. Yeah, definitely give them similar vibes with that. A bit. Oh, this also streams April 1st? Dang, what else is streaming April 1st? That's like four shows I think I counted, or three. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Um, got me intrigued. Definitely got me intrigued. Um, if anything, so... Okay, Heavenly Delusion. Okay, I, I like I like the title. Based off of a manga. How long has the manga for this been out? Hmm. Manga's still going. It's been out since 2018. Okay, so there's a lot of source material. Um, who is the writer for this? Sorry, demo. Okay. They also wrote that. Huh. Okay. Okay, next we got My Home Hero. Hey, hey, My Home Hero. Um, by Tizuka Productions, based off of manga. Um, coming out this Sunday. <laughs> After killing his daughter's abusive Yakuza boyfriend to save her, ordinary sales salaryman Tetsuo Toshi... Tosu becomes embroiled in the dark criminal underworld. The wish for a simple life he and his wife Kasen had for their daughter has been re reduced to a wish for survival. Though middle-aged and weak, he'll put his life in the, on the line only using only his wits in order to protect his family. Hey, okay. Dude over here trying to protect his family. He about to go into the underworld. Okay. He will to do anything. Okay, so he's about to get bloody. Maybe, I assume. I guess I have to see. Preview. That's a preview. Teaser. Okay, I'll check out the preview. Man, they, how? They beat that guy's head <laughs> to, a bowl, to a bloody pulp. Man. Yep. One day a happy family, next day. He killed her, killed him to protect his daughter, man. Jeez. Mm. Okay. Interesting right there. I think an interesting thing with that one would be I'm curious if ever if we're ever gonna see like his mentality be questioned throughout the series. I don't know if it, how far it's gonna escalate on him protecting his family, but I don't know, I think that'd be like an interesting element right there. It's by Tezuka Production. Um, what else has Tezuka done, man? This is something I saw. Under Ninja. Oh, they did the show last season. Okay, they did it. Okay, they, oh, they also did that show? Okay, huh, okay, interesting. Interesting archive of shows with Tezuka Production. Um, airing on Crunchyroll. 
Okay, next we got the Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. Now, I don't know why I added this to Considering, but I hope I wonder, there's something that intrigued me with this one. Um, based off of a raw, it was, yeah, based off of a manga by JC Staff. Um, the King of Beasts and the Demons regularly re receives female human sacrifices to eat in order to assert the dominance of his people over their race. Human race, what? I mean, that, that's, I don't know, that's morbid. I'm like, <laughs> However, for the 99th sacrifice, the human girl brought to the capital, Sarifi, intrigues the Beast King. Why? In fact, she isn't afraid of him or any other beast and even accepts her death without begging or crying as she has neither home nor family to return to if she were released. The King finds her intriguing and let, let her stay at his side as his consort despite being human. This is sort of how Sarifi becomes the queen of the demons and beasts. Dang, just like that, because she didn't show no fear. Bro said, hey, you stick with me. <laughs> okay. Check this out. Yo, Beauty and the Beast gone gone wild right here. <laughs> Going crazy with Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> we got demons and stuff. Yeah, she had no fear, man. <laughs> She's like, oh, yo, this is cute. I see why I added this to my considering. <laughs> this got me curious. <laughs> How are they going to get together? Just like that. Their grace, this is madness. Are you going to argue with them? Yo, I bet some of those demon girls probably are about to be jealous. Or monster girls or whatever in this, <laughs> this world. Okay, we got a lizard man. Was there a show last season with like a a humanoid being and a girl? Like, dude, look kind of look like this dude almost. I forget the name of the show, but I'm pretty sure there was a show like that last season. But yo, got me curious. Um, <laughs> really curious. I'm curious how this is going to turn out. Um, how are they going to get together, and how is that going to proceed, progress, especially with this world um see how that is okay next we got skip and loafer a romantic comedy slice a lot by pa works yo pa works always has them nice i don't know i like pa works anime they're they're always chill um at least half of a manga so yeah they did buddy daddies yeah that and akiba made war um your boy kong ming um the day I became a god, um, Shobako. Okay, yeah, I like I like PA Works anime, um, but the manga for this dang good ratings for it. Okay, manga's been out for a while, so there's a lot of source material for it. Um, but yeah, Iwakura Mitsumi. But then y'all can't see anything with it. But okay, I got y'all. Um, Iwakori Mitsumi graduated from a small middle school and the court side and entered a top tier high school in Tokyo at the head of the class. The child prodigy who moved to Tokyo alone with a perfect life plan is smart and gets good grades. But her so but her social understanding isn't quite the same wavelength as others. This means that she sometimes makes mistakes, but her easygoing nature always. But her easygoing nature sways her classmates little by little, and their per and their different personalities are coming together before they know e before they know it. They meet and gradually become they meet and gradually come to know each other, and before long they understand each other well. Everyone experiences pent up feelings and frustrations, but it's our friend who give friends who give us a chance at mutual understanding. This story may start out with some discord discord, but it becomes a happy school life comedy before you know it. Okay, so she makes friends at this new school and at 
High school, her high school experience starting off nice with some friends. Okay. A little school life romantic comedy. Good vibes. Congrats. Your first day of school. <laughs> I reckon I'm a good singer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they say each of their own personalities. Okay. So it'll be nice seeing their interactions, seeing them bounce off against each other. A chill show overall, basically. So little by little, I'm going to get to know them. Okay. Let me fix this. That's there? Okay, that's that. Next anime on the list. But yeah, I definitely want to check this one out. Probably might end up watching on my own. I might react to it. I'll see. Yuri is my job. Now, this is a show I'm really looking forward to. By Passion and Studio Lings. Who the heck is Lings? Lings? Anything else they did? Yo. <laughs> Lings, I never heard of you. Well, I guess they're new. <laughs> they're new. Okay, a nice little collaboration. Yuri anime. Oh, every single season this year, I think, has a Yuri anime, which is actually kind of cool, and I like it. But Hime is a picture perfect high school princess. She is admired by all and never trips up. When she ac accidentally injures a, a cafe manager named Mai, she's willing to cover some shifts to help her facade intact, keep her facade intact. To Hime's surprise, the cafe th is themed after a private school where all female staff always put on their best act. Me. For the for their loyal customers. However, under the guidance of the most graceful girl there, he may can't help but blush and blunder. Beneath all the frills and laughter, he may feel his tension brewing as she st finds out more about their new job and her buddying feelings. Okay, so she's having a crush on some of them. She's about to have a harem? Okay. Um, he may. <laughs> Princess. <laughs> uh ch -ch -ch. 32nd one. Do we have a longer one anywhere? Here we go. Yuri is my job. It's my job to check this out. <laughs> Isabel Academy. Splendid job, Hime. Romance, comedy, Yuri. Yeah, this one's definitely more romantic, rom com driven than. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! 180 right there. We thought that was a cute moment. Nah, she's <laughs> declaring her hatred towards her. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Here's about that one Otaku Elf by C2C. Antaka Mimi Shrine has an unusual resident, Elda, an ancient elf who's obsessed with video games. The Shrine teenage assist attendant Koito Kagenai keeps this reclusive otaku well supplied with energy drinks and junk food. Even though she loves 100%ing her games, Elda has duties to attend to and Kagenai Kagane is bound and determined to make this otaku elf fulfill them. 
it'll just take an offering or two to bribe. Um, we mean convince Elda to put down her new game. Okay, Utaku Elf. We had, um, it's the kind of uncle last season, or, or last year, I guess. Well, it ended last season officially. But now we got Otaku Elf. Uh, yeah, here we go. Let's check this one out. It's not in English or has subtitles, so. It's all good. Yo, Otaku Elf just wants to game at the shrine. Play games, drink Red Bull. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I've only had Red Bull once in my life, man. <laughs> this one's definitely a full blown comedy right here. Yo, why is there an elf here? Where did she come from? Why is there an elf at the shrine? That's that's the question right there. Okay. And some ramen at night. T Yuri? <laughs> okay. Okay. This one seems like it's gonna be all right. Seems like a, something I've seen already, but you know, I'll give it a peep still. You know, see how it is. Blue Orchestra. Okay. Hold on, let me switch my screen. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I don't know. I always like whenever there's like a music anime. I don't know, probably because I play music throughout almost my whole life. <laughs> so. I always like seeing I always like seeing performing arts and music anime. <clears throat> Excuse me, but you're coming out April 9th. In the fall of his third and final year of middle school, Hajime Ayano, a violin prodigy, stopped playing violin for his own personal reasons. But it was also that year when he got to know a girl who told him about high, a high school with a prestigious school orchestra. Suddenly, the gears of the in the clock of Ayano's life began to turn again. This is a story of a youth drama that brings forth a harmony be harmony between music and the heart. Okay, so he wants, so he's probably going to practice his music so he could get into this prestigious school orchestra, high school orchestra. Um, I'm assuming that's that's the premise of this. Um, is this the main character, or is this? I think this is the main character. He looks like the main character. He's wearing different clothes than everyone else. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. I didn't know that was going to be the premise of this, but interesting. Or maybe this is the main character? Okay, either way, I guess we'll see. Oh, no. He's the main character. I was wrong. My mistake. <laughs> You're looking like uh, Ishigami from <laughs> Kaguya-sama. <laughs> Ishigami, yo, this is your variant? Hey. I wonder why he quit playing violin. Some family stuff there, family drama, past drama. Okay, he has to go and practice. He got the friend, maybe childhood friend to encourage him. Okay, okay. I'm going to have to check this one out, see how it is. But yo, um, curious how this is going to come out. Um, I know that um, last season, at least, what was it, last month, I think? Um, or was it this month? I don't know. I know that um, that other music anime came out. Um, it's a movie. Um, 
Blue Giant, I believe. It's jazz. Um, the dude's playing on the saxophone. Um, I thought it was going to be a show, but no, it's a movie. So definitely got to check that one out when it comes out in theaters. Um, in, well, you know, sub, wherever, wherever, whenever it comes out to over here in the States. <laughs> so the next was Magical Destroyers. Uh, freedom of expression is threatened when the mysterious group, the SSC, destroyed Japan's otaku culture. Ooh, yeah, that's a war right there. Uh, rev a re young revolutionary otaku hero who loves the culture more than anything rises up. With the help of three ambitious magical girls, Archie, Blue, and Pink, they t they'll team up to create a world, create a world free of this oppression rule. To be part of the revolution to bring back fandom. Oh man, they're gonna bring back the otaku culture. This kind of reminds me of that other anime where Shimanayo, Shimanetto, Shimanetto, right? That's the name of it. <laughs> it was the otaku culture that got destroyed in that show, but um, oh, it, yeah, it's right here. No, I just saw it. <laughs> I, I was right. Okay, that's close to the top. Yeah, it reminds me of this show. Except, yeah, a, a world where boring, where the the concept of Dory jokes doesn't exist. Yeah, it reminds me of this. Except you just switch it with otaku. I never finished this, huh? I was almost there too. Huh? Gotta finish that soon. <laughs> On my long list. Um, but yeah, let's check out the preview for this one. Um, see how it is. Dark, I see. No, it's not dark yet. I'm about to say. In the year 2008. Okay, so going back. Look, it's our four heroes. Okay, Otaku hero. <laughs> oh man, this show looks like it's. It's gonna be something else, man. Just turn off your mind and just watch it. <laughs> Pry the eye holes with what was that line? <laughs> Pry the eye holes open and get a load of this. Otaku war right here, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it was so crazy, I gotta watch it. <laughs> no hit, no life. Ah, oh, man. We will never get in no game, no life another season. Actually, let me not never say never. Um, let me never say never. Let me not say never. You never know. <laughs> the fact that, um, what show was that? Um, the Demon Lord returned? Um, the Demon Lord is a part-timer or something? The fact that that show got a sequel after years later? Um, I mean, your, the opinions of it are kind of mixed. But the fact that that could return? Or even high school or classroom of the elite? Like, huh? yo, I, I will not doubt anything. Okay, Rakudo's Bad Girls by Satellite, based on manga. Tosuke Rakudo, a first year student at Am Amori High, a school attended mostly by delinquents, wants to live a peaceful life with his friends. However, this, this seems to be impossible because of the fact that he is constantly bullied by his delinquent classmates. When Rakudo and his friends become desperate, Rakudo receives... What does he receive? What does Rakudo receive? Receives a mysterious package from his long deceased grandfather inside lies a, pri a priest a uniform and a mysterious scroll passed down through his family since the high end period he said to hold a technique that wards off demons and s demons and evil spirits okay so it'll be what's this rumble at um rumble at delinquent high don't get a girlfriend too Oh, so having that mark, he gets his own harem? 
This mind control? That's crazy. Oh. Yeah, Rokudo. <laughs> Yo, bunch of goofy characters in this. Man, this dude, Ro Rokudo again, beat up though. Like, <laughs> okay, seems eh. But you know, I still watch it. <laughs> I'm still gonna give it at least that for your first few episodes of Peep. I'll try to. <laughs> I'll see if I get to it. Uh, My Clueless First Friend by Saint Signpost Studio. Coming out on um, this Sunday. The show streams one week early in Japan on Abama. Okay. Takada-kun. Why did I say his name like that? Takada-kun. <laughs> the new kid at school has no idea that everyone in the class calls his classmate Nishimura-san the Grim Reaper. His only thoughts are about what a cool nickname that it is. Nishimura-san is relentlessly teased while her classmates snicker behind her back, and Takada-kun is oblivious to the whole situation. Nothing beats being clueless and honest, and that's why his feelings reach right into her heart. This is this story that starts in an elementary school class will make anyone remember those days of reaching right into their right to the, okay, so good feel story good feel anime right here <laughs> good feel this dude's just being a nice friend and she's over here everyone making fun of her in the background and what's this there they're teasing them for being close together okay okay you know you know elementary schoolers man that's so that's so ju that's so like juvenile like it's, well, not juvenile just just childish <laughs> Takada. <laughs> Why y'all like always? Man. And he's like, yo, that's cool. <laughs> nah, I was making fun of her. <laughs> I mean, he's he's being nice though. Yeah, she's just keeping to herself. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, what the heck? Yeah, she's over here keeping keep an eye out for him, but <laughs> Okay, she's about to crush on him. Okay, Takada. Yo, respect. He's just being nice. What is of that short he has with the mustache? <laughs> oh man. Anyways, okay. okay this looks like a little cute show. Okay, two cute crises. Well, you know, I I I, I said that intentionally. Um, <laughs> this is like a cute show to check out. Um, by Synergy SP, um, invading alien Lisa or Lisa Luna wants nothing more than to destroy planet Earth. Excuse me. Why? After she gets a little sightseeing, excuse me, first, but she her travels soon take her into a cat cafe where the furry felines inside invade her heart just as surely as Lisa invaded Earth. Destroying the world won't be as easy now that she's discovered the joy of kitty cats. Yo, just get yourself a bunch of cats and then destroy the world and go to wherever you 
are you like you're an alien like where are you from <laughs> oh yeah they said they, they yeah they said she's an alien okay we're at the bottom of this list so there are as many as intriguing shows compared to all the previous ones <laughs> oh, man. Lisa Luna Oh, she comes from a demonic society. Just like that. Huh. You're the power of pets, man. They might even stop an alien invasion. Or an alien from destroying the planet. That's by Mo. <laughs> yeah, anything to protect them cats? <laughs> he said, I will postpone the destruction of Earth. You know, I was actually thinking about skipping this one, but you know what? I I'll give it a peep. <laughs> I, I As the trailer went on, it got me a little bit more curious. I think I might get a little chuckle here and there, but I'll see. I'll see. Birdie Wing Golf Score Girl Story Season 2. I never finished Season 1. Um, I'm going to finish it eventually, but I just never finished it. Um, I kind of just fell out of it. I think I got halfway in the show. Um, but yeah, this is like, you know, girls golf you know and you know there's some interesting drama going on there's some mafia stuff um so <laughs> girls golf with mafia involved so yeah, i got nothing else to add about that you take that as that um okay only seven episodes so yeah i gotta finish this um see how the rest of it is so huh yeah anyways Oh, the new Pokemon. Oh, yeah, Pokemon is ending. Yeah, that thing. Will, yeah, the storyline of Ash is over. We now have this new character, Liko and Roy. Liko and Roy. I wonder what their, what their uh, translated names will, might end up being. But... The encounter freed Captain Pikachu. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing else to say about that. Um, Kizuna no Alel. A story about actually, I am curious about this low key. I actually, actually, I'm curious about checking out this preview. Let's, let's see how it is because I never really watched Pokemon per se. When I say that, I mean like I didn't like grow up by watching it on a weekly basis, like I knew about it, I knew about the storyline, the characters, I knew the different arcs to an extent, but. Never like was like into it, into it. Ash, who was like forever years old, man, forever twelve years old. <laughs> He's like Arthur. Well, no, Arthur ended a few years ago. And so this is a new squad. And Pikachu always got to show up <laughs> somewhere. Captain Pikachu. So is it going to be an adventure? Or... Huh. Okay. Interesting. Was there any other previews? Yeah, I saw this one. This one looked interesting. This one looked, looked a little bit more action-packed. 
It's weird seeing a school in Pokemon World. Like, I know schools exist, but... <laughs> That's the end of the anime. <laughs> okay, so yeah, okay, they are journeying around. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Captain Pikachu. Hmm. Okay. That's a little adventure show right there. What was that video? But you know, <laughs> saw something in the um, recommended. But okay, Kizunono Alali. Yeah, Alali. Wow, I read that correctly. By Wit Studio and Signal MD. Story about the bonds between girls. Kizuna and I appeared like a comet in the virtual world, becoming massively popular in the blink of an eye. That's true. Then I feel like no one's talking about her no more. After winning the Lapin d'Or, the fine, the highest honor of the Virtual Guild Awards. Five years in a row, she disappeared as quickly as she came. Oh, the highest honor of the Virtual Grid Awards. She. Did. Oh, I just said that. They, they, oh, they said the same thing twice. Okay. Several months have passed since then. Adam Academy is a school that specializes in new talent and will, okay. So this is a virtual academy. Okay. To be the next VTuber. Okay. Let's check this out. Is it going to be in CGI? <laughs> is it going to be CGI animated or? あなたは何になりたい?ここなら何にもなれるよ。ここは入れアカデミー。バーチャルの世界で活躍したい子たちの学園。ここでは日々たくさんの生徒たちが成りたい自分を目指していろんな授業を受けているんだ。私未来。
I'm here to see 2D beings, not not 3D. <laughs> What is this about? Wait, what does marginal even mean before I even... I could search that up afterwards. Yeah, let me look that up afterwards. Get out of here. Yeah, what's this business this dude about to get himself into? Okay. So, oh, oh, I see the, okay, I see the gear now. Okay, what the heck? That dude part plant? Talking animals? This show looks like it's something else. Why was everyone naked on the key art though? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The crazy shows, man. Sometimes I like to see something just crazy out there in the world. What does marginal mean? Of relating to or situated in at a margin or border. That's a terrible definition. I hate when definitions say another word, word in that word word in that definition. It's like searching up the um, definition for I don't know, um, enhancing, and they say something like oh yada 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 enhance. Oh, I feel like that's pretty straightforward but i don't know something like that <laughs> i hate when when they bring up something like that but yeah i'm definitely going to check this out by studios three hertz okay alice gear agus agus expansion the final three okay each episode streams four hours earlier in japan centuries ago mankind abandoned oh y'all still can't see it oh that's unfortunate but what's the title for this one okay yeah, centuries ago, mankind abandoned planet Earth after the vice of a race of mechanical aliens drove them from their home and into a life adrift in space. Now resigned to starships forged to pieces of Earth's shattered, shattered moon, the, hopes, the final hope for humanity lies in the hand of actress young woman born with the ability to wield only weapons that can harm the vice, Alice Gears. Yeah, this is based off a game. I was, about, I was like, wait, Alice Gear, wait, isn't that a game? Yeah, Alice Gear is a mechanical suit that can finally turn the tide against the alien incursion. What the game for the. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is. Oh, this is a game come out recently? Uh, Wikipedia, help me with this. Okay, yeah, it's a mobile game. Um, they have an OVA that came out a while ago by Nomad. Um, and then they have another one that came out, well, came out in July, in September of last year, but worldwide release was this year, okay, this month, actually, yeah, like, two weeks ago, exactly, um, March 16th. Um, interesting, the more you know, so here we go, a uh, mobile game anime, those either are hit or misses, I don't think this one, I, yeah, um, <laughs> this one might be on the latter end. Bossy. Yeah, they rebuilt a lot on the moon, on this moon forged pieces. あり過ぎ
Okay, and the you know quiet book reading one. Okay, and they fight in these mecha things against the vice. Okay, aliens to try and reclaim Earth. This is like more of like a chill show comedy. The comedy same time I did. I don't know how popular the game is, but okay. Yeah, I'm probably not going to watch this one to be honest. <laughs> um, World the Star. Is this an original? Well, mixed media. Okay. It's a TV anime for World Star. Oh, is this a game? Mobile game? Because I know mixed media media mix project is like a thing or something, right? And a mobile game, yeah, it's a mobile game, yeah. So, was it an idol group? Um, performing arts? Um, yeah, something like that. Idol, performing arts, okay. Um, oh, I didn't full screen for that for y'all. But, yeah, anyways, you'll check out the preview anyways, so. Oh, here we go, here's a full preview. Without subtitles, unfortunately. Japan. In this um, prefecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got performers on the stage, the whole squad right here. Okay, so it's a play or a musical. Okay, that's cool. That reminds me, I need to finish um, Starlight Revu. Or Revu Starlight? Wait, why? I feel like I saw the trailer list already. <laughs> I might have a while ago. Yeah, bravo, 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 bravo. <laughs> oh, man. I'll see if I watch this one. I, I mean, I'm probably not. I'll leave this as blank for now, though. Um, Actually, that's what Mark has considered. Um, but Opus Color, the last show that we will be previewing today by C Station and Original. What color is the world in which you live? It's pretty colorful, I mean. Perception art has been around in the world for about 10 years. It is now completely permeated the world and its vibrant parts of people's lives. Kazuya Yama Yamanashi, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Yamanashi, the famous artist and the creators of Perception Art, re recently enrolled in the prestigious, prestigious art institution Eyes in high school with his childhood friend June. Su yeah, they, they want to become perception artists. Is this like a real thing? Perception art? Perception perception in, in art stands for complex relations between visual stimuli and a person. Well, that's perception art. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah, but it's your perspective. Okay, that makes sense. I think that's what they're talking about. Maybe not. I don't know. Either way, let's check out this preview. It's been two hours and 41 minutes streaming. Let's end this with this one. Oh, am I clapping? Oh, because it's the end? Yeah. <laughs> it's the last one. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, so they use some form of AI and 3D glasses to do that, or augmented reality to create um, the art. That's kind of cool. I want to see the art. I don't care about the characters. Okay, so they do stuff like that. They do drinking wine at school. Oh, that's a big piece of art right there. Can we see? Oh, what's up, that old, dusty, um... What's that, SD card right there? Or <laughs> SD card? <laughs> Flash drive? Yay! I am done. Yeah, I'm not watching this show at all, by the way. Woohoo! We have gone through every anime on this list. Oh my gosh. Woo! All, oh, no. I'm not. Wait, wait, what movies is airing, though? Let's, let's go through here quickly. Okay. Um, OVA is coming out this season? Life is Inukai san's dog is actually getting an OVA. There's a special episode 13. I dropped that show, by the way, if you're curious. I dropped that like episode six or seven. I, I was in the middle of recording a video. I was like, no, nah, I'm done. <laughs> I said, like, no, nah, I'm done with this show. I'm not finishing this at all. I can't. This show is too degenerative. Okay, pretty, okay. Pretty derpy's getting that. And this OVA that they've been teasing for like, I don't know how many years. <laughs> Wait. What is this? With a limited edition of the third romantic comedy in Nintendo's... They have a Nintendo Switch game? Or PS4 game? I gotta play that. Yo, anyways, yo. We are at the end of this video, of this stream. Put my volume a little bit for that. Um, Yeah, um, many of these shows I'll be checking out, or almost all the shows I'll be checking out. Um, in terms of what shows I'll be doing content for on the channel via reactions, I'll see. Um, I'm not sure if anyone knows this on the channel, but each season, or well, mainly this year, mainly, I've been taking it down a notch on the reacts. Um, <laughs> um, I know that last year I felt like, I don't know, some, I don't know what I was feeling. I was like really ambitious last year. I was like, I was literally recording a video for almost everything last year. And I was like, okay, let me slow down for 2023, Siku. Uh, don't want to overwhelm myself and whatnot. So, yeah, um, I see how much content I'll be checking out, you know, and you know, uploading onto YouTube. Um, you know, I'd like to try and at least check out one show a day or one or two shows. So, this except excluding weekends. Weekends, I like to do you know as many shows because you know more available during the weekend. So, there's that. I also might do some anime live streams. Um, and I haven't done any of that in a while. Um, I've never done it with seasonal shows, so I might do that this season. I'll see. Um, I see what shows I just don't, you know, feel like reacting to on a weekly basis and rather binge watching. So yeah, there's that. Then we'll also have some more Patreon exclusive stuff. Um, <laughs> if, if it gets dropped from, if YouTube gives me problems or something, I'll say, okay, Patreon now. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll, I'm still continuing with Villain Saga over on Patreon. Um, so Cares about where my reacts are for this. It's over there. Um, Kubo-san's returning, and yeah, this yeah, there's definitely some shows here I definitely want to react to. Um, I think it would make some good react content. Um, Time-wise, though, air date. What do we have? This airing on Saturday, and this this. Okay, so we have. Dang, there's five shows airing on Saturday. One, two, three. Well, I'm not watching this. Four. Okay, so four shows airing on Saturday. Okay, I know I definitely want to check out these two. I don't loving Yamada. Um, that's more like a show I'd rather excuse me, watch on my own. Likewise, Dangers in My Heart. I'll see. It's been a while since I've reacted to a rom com on the, on the channel though, so I'll see what happens there. Um, I mean, that's the this is the first weekend though. The next weekend will be the eighth for Saturday. Okay, this show's airing. Okay, these. 
these two shows are airing next Saturday. So that makes, I said four shows already. So this makes what six, six shows I want to check out that are airing on Saturday. That's just sh- Saturday, man. Let's we'll see. Yeah, I may I'll, I'll upload something on YouTube um, or on the um, the community page. <laughs> um, on what shows I'll be checking out specifically on what days and what will and where you could watch what <laughs> um, because I always have full reacts over on Patreon regardless but there will be some more you know some Patreon exclusive stuff um, or some series that just don't do well on YouTube um, I also just end up doing over there too so yeah anyways you know thank y'all for tuning in for the stream have yourselves a nice night um, I also will be back to streaming um, in april um you know back to doing some live streams not only anime live streams that's something i want to do which i'll probably do that like once or twice a week probably once a week um, let me not say twice a week i'm only going to do once a week i'm not going to do it twice <laughs> let me let me not even say that i know what i'm going to do um so yeah i'll probably do that once a week and you know i want to get back to visual novel streams as well um ever since i finished umineko i was like okay let me give myself let me give myself like three month break of streaming because you know going through that for 15 months was whew, very great storyline but very long so um i give myself a little break from streaming weekly for that especially since i upload stuff on youtube weekly at that so yeah um so I'll probably start, yeah, get back to Danganronpa soon. Other stuff that I started but never finished. Um, Danganronpa, um, 999, um, the Nonera games. Um, and that's some other stuff I, I've i had bought or downloaded that I just have not played yet. So I have some stuff over here on the channel. Check out my, you know, my other socials. Um, you know, my main channel, my gaming channel. I'm going to get back to uploading stuff on the gaming channel. I've been playing some Near Replicant over there. Um, you don't know Near Automa, the anime based off of this game. Um, Near Replicant is a remake on Near, which was a game that came out before Near Automa. So, um, yeah, I'm playing that one. Now I'm playing. I'm playing Near Automa. Um, all right, I might stream my gameplay of Near Replicant soon. So, yeah, I'll let you know about that. I'm um, probably only stream that over on Twitch. So. Um, yeah, there's that, you know, Twitch with the two eyes, secret sent by two eyes, Twitter. Um, I post something on Twitter here and there. I don't, I'm not a big fan of social media, to be honest. I don't like posting on social media. Um, <laughs> I like checking out social media here and there, but yeah, there's that. Um, my MLL, MAL profile. If you're free to add me, check my list, add me, you know, keep up with what I'm watching, um, what I'm not watching. If you ever cares what I am watching, Best place to check out is MAL, what, or what I have watched. Uh, my Patreon, all full uncut reacts. Why do I have a TikTok account? I have a TikTok account. I, I don't post anything there, though. I think last thing I post was a vlog um, when I went to a convention. So convention vlogs over there. I post something here and there. I guess I could post more. Maybe not. So yeah, anyways, so again, you know, have yourselves a nice night, have a nice evening or day or whenever you're watching this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me get my closer ready. Which closer shall, shall I go with? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling this one. I like this one. It's, it's nice and upbeat. So yeah, that's all I got to say. See y'all later. Peace and out. <laughs>